Hello everybody. Today we're actually going to discuss a topic that I've been meaning to discuss for a while but I haven't yet and it's a very important topic and that is what poker tournament should I be buying into? Now there are a few rules for this so you really need to pay attention to these certain rules. The first one is what is the percentage of my poker bankroll that I'm buying in for? Idealistically we really want to be paying in about 2% to 5% of your poker bankroll. Anything more than that and you really are going to be subject to a lot of swings that might potentially send you broke. If you buy in for any less than that, potentially when you are having a hot run, you're not gonna be able to make the most money while you're having that hot run. So you really need to choose something between two to 5% of your bank, poker bankroll. So for example, if you've got $10,000 in your poker bankroll, ideally you wanna be buying in between two and $500 of your poker bankroll uh, for any one tournament. Now. Obviously not everybody has that kind of poker bankroll and you can take shots every so often. So for example, you might have 2,000, 3,000, we'll go with $2,000 in your poker bankroll and you're constantly playing $100 uh, buy-in and you wanna play uh, $400 buy-in. You can do this, but you do really need to be aware that if you do not cash, that all of a sudden your poker bankroll isn't $2,000 now, it's now 1,600. So now then you've got to just adjust for um, obviously the lower bankroll for the next po poker buy-ins that you do for tournament. Uh, the second um, tip of the buy-in for the tournament is what kind of tournament is this? Is it a Hold'em tournament? Is it an Omaha tournament? Is it a stud tournament? And how well do you play these games? So for example, a lot of the people that will be watching this one will be Texas Hold'em No Limit players. Now, most of us are very skilled in this game, but you might want to go out and play an Omaha game, for example. But you're not going to be as skilled in Omaha as what you are in Texas Hold'em if you don't play it very often. So instead of buying in for, say, 300 or 400 of your poker bankroll, you should be trying to minimise this down to, you know, 1% to 2%, just while you get uh, focused on it and just while you learn the game a little bit. So please be aware of your skill level. Uh, this is going to take a lot of self-assessment. So um, obviously, a lot of us like to... Uh, think we're a lot better than what we are. So you really need to pay attention to that before you actually commit to buying it. Um, also, another one that you need to really be aware of is how long does this tournament go for and what blind structure is it? If you've only got three or four hours, you shouldn't be playing a tournament that's gonna last six hours. Like that's just common sense. So if you've got say two or three hours, maybe you should be playing cash poker or if you can play a turbo tournament that only lasts two or three hours. Uh, you also gotta be aware of multi-day games. Uh, obviously, when you're playing day one, you can play day one, but if you can't play day two, why are you spending your money? And I have seen people do this where they go, oh, I'll buy in, and if I make day two, I'll let, just let it sit there and just dwindle down and they'll blind me out. Well, why are you paying your money for that? Like, it just makes no sense. And you do see people do it. So just be aware of what the structure is and how long you're gonna have to play this game. Um, and last but not least is the prize pool. Now, traditionally, most um, tournaments will actually play, pay about 15% of um, the um, buy-in. So for example, if there's 100 people in there, they'll pay top 15. Um, but I have seen tournaments actually play top 10 and or pay down to say top 25. So you are, have to be very aware of this because if you play something that pays the 10%, uh, they're going to be very top heavy in that. So you are going to have a lot more swings in your poker bankroll when you're just playing those tournaments because you're not going to win a lot of the time. Um, a lot of people only cash about 10% of the tournaments they actually play. Uh, if they're very lucky, they get to 15 to 20%, uh, but that doesn't happen for a lot of people. So you really need to make sure you're not overextending yourself, but also pick the right tournaments uh, for your poker bankroll so that you, when you do win a tournament, you're actually getting paid off for it. But if you do have a very hard time of say, six months of very, being very dry, you can grind out and actually get in a cash position, which will double your buy-in. And that's sometimes how you actually keep alive in poker and keep your poker bankroll from going bankrupt. So please be aware of the tournaments that you play, uh, follow these rules and you'll be all right. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I know I harp on about it a little bit, but it really does help the channel. We're getting a lot of subscribers now. Um, like and comment on this video. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much. And I can't wait to talk to you all again.